Should Tears of the Kingdom borrow more from Skyward Sword? Now, Skyward Sword is widely considered one of Nintendo's, well, failed games. Came out late in the Wii life cycle, used motion controls, and had sort of a limited exploration factor to it. However, when you drop down into the world below the clouds, there was, I guess, a pseudo really, really long dungeon? I mean, there was overworld parts, but you progressed through it like a dungeon that led to another dungeon. Honestly, if you really like dungeons, Skyward Sword had quite a bit of them, so did Twilight Princess. Look, this is an interesting perspective because AG and Emma, who said in the past that Skyward Sword was a really important game, even though it didn't sell very well. We all know it is the earliest game in the official Zelda timeline. We also know the obvious connections here with Tears of the Kingdom. Chiefly, they're Sky Islands. And, well, while we've had City in the Sky and stuff like that from Twilight Princess, the thing that we've had Sky Islands in before was Skyward Sword. Uh, so, what do you think about being in the sky? It's hard not to talk about Skyward Sword. There's also some other interesting things, such as the Master Sword appearing broken at one point in the footage we have seen. And while we've never really had the Master Sword, or at least at the time the Skyward Sword, be fundamentally broken, we do know that a certain evil entity, the remains of him was sealed within that sword. Also, the sword glows on Link's bat during one of the cutscenes. We don't really know what's going on. Uh, but last time the sword did that, that was when Fee one of the characters from Skyward Sword, <laughs> uh, was talking to Link. So there is a lot of things to already infer that maybe Demise is back. Maybe Fee is back. Who knows? Girahim, is he running around somewhere? Look, we don't really know how deep the Skyward Sword connections go because everything is speculation. In fact, one of the videos I was actually going to make is everything we know about Breath of the Wild 2, a.k.a. Tears of the Kingdom. But in doing my research and watching some other people who made similar content, it was quite interesting because it felt like a lot of the things that says, here's what we know, and all of it is unconfirmed assumptions and or theories rather than what we actually no, because whatever you think you know right now, the game isn't out yet. It doesn't exist, and we've barely seen it. So it's really hard for us to sit here and be like, oh, yeah, well, this this thing clearly took inspiration from Ocarina of Time, and this thing did this, and this thing did that, and, oh, yeah, the Rashika shape was replaced entirely by this new uh, mechanical thing that's on Link's side, those vials. Yes, all of those things are true in that the vials exist. It, it appears Link doesn't have the Sheikah slate. Yada, 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 but... Everything about what those things are, what they mean, where the inspiration's from, it's all assumptions. There is not any tangible, fact-based proof. It's just observations, subjective opinions, and assumptions. So, when talking about even this Skyward Sword stuff, what we know so far, outside of the fact that there's Sky Islands, is speculation. Oh, the sword's broken. Does that have anything to do with Demise? It might not. Oh, the sword lit up on Link's back. Does that have anything to do with Fee or Fi? No. No, we don't know that 100%. It could be something entirely different. But what is interesting is wondering if they should take some inspiration. As an example, we are, you know, in the sky. Should we be riding loft wings? Should, if we do, should Loftwings have a different sort of presence? Should it have different sort of mechanics? Or maybe there's not unlimited flight? I have no idea. I'm just throwing out there how interesting it would be if there were more Skyward Sword connections and whether you want there to be. Remember, there's a lot of really interesting things in Skyward Sword. Obviously, the goddess Hylia. We know that there were statues from her all over, you know, Hyrule during Breath of the Wild, including stuff that we talked to and prayed to in order to increase our hearts and stamina and all that. So we already know Hylia, at least the Hylia statues that we saw in Skyward Sword that came back, uh, definitely played a role. Do we want that role to deepen? Do we want Goddess Hylia herself to actually make an appearance here? Do we want potential motion controls coming back for certain things? Wouldn't that be, that be kind of weird, right? Especially in this world and this engine, but who knows? The thing is, do you want to revisit the past? There was a time before Skyward Sword, referenced heavily in Skyward Sword. Do you want to visit that time period? Look, I don't know 
what's going to happen with Tears of the Kingdom any more than anyone else. We all can theorize a billion things. We all can come up with a ton of ideas. But what I want to know today is, one, do you want them to take some inspiration and have deeper connections to Skyward Sword with Tears of the Kingdom? And Two, in what ways would you like Skyward Sword to influence or not influence? Like, what things would you do you want Skyward Sword to not do to this game? I, that's what I want to know. I mean, we got Skyward Sword HD not too long ago, so I don't think it's too crazy to think about this. I also don't know that we should make any assumptions on a game we know so little about. Again, I have a lot of thoughts ringing around in my head, but I can't prove a damn one of them. No matter how much I think it absolutely is this. We don't know. <laughs> There's no absolutes other than we play as Link. Zelda does exist in this world. Hyrule's there, and we're in the sky. Beyond all of that, it's a bunch of guesses. Even that little pla bird platform triangle thing we land on, who knows if that's even in the final game? I assume it is. But what happens if it's not? It's not like we've you know not seen pre-release footage before. And just not have that stuff appear in the game. So you guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. Do you want Skyward Sword to influence or not influence and why? Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And I'll catch you in the next video.